So today we're going to add one of these O2 sensor extensions. We're going to do that because we keep getting a code of P0420. We're getting that because on this card the catalytic converter got stolen and it was replaced with a non-original part and, and it's not worth replacing it with an original part and therefore the engine light keeps coming on. It's got no running problems but we're going to add one of these to stop the engine light from coming on. It's a 22mm nut that you're going to need. Um, it's the same as on the O2 sensor on this particular car. So you can either use a 22mm spanner or you can get specific O2 sensor sockets where they have a little cutout. So that way you can do that. And that's another type there. That's the same job where it's got a cutout and you can put a, a 3 8 ratchet on there and on there. Or you could use a spanner on there as well. So here's the O2 sensor that we're going to be trying to remove. So if you haven't already, just give it a little wipe down with a wire brush just to get rid of any corrosion that's there and give it a spray of like WD-40 or like a penetration fluid so that way hopefully it's a little bit easier to come off. Before we do that and loosen it off, we're just going to disconnect the O2 sensor from up here. So press the back of it in, like down that, like that way and then we're going to pull it out. like that. Now we're going to get our socket and put it on here. So we're going to use we're going to use this socket cuz it fits us best. We're going to put that on. We get our ratchet. Put that on as well. And we'll try and break it free. There you go, break that free. Take that off. And now we can unwind it. Give it a few more times. And now that's out. So just be careful not to damage the this part of it because obviously that's the bit that does all the readings. Just double check to make sure that this fits the new extension that we've got, which it does, which is good. So let's take that off. Now we're going to go and install this onto the car first. We're going to put a little bit of anti-seize on the thread so that way if it ever needs to come off it should be a little bit easier. Now let's get that and we'll go and put it on the car. So now we're back at the car, just screw that in to where the O2 sensor would have gone. So get it on. Just tighten it up. That's it. And then we're going to get low two cents now. So we're going to put a tiny bit of anti-seize on these threads as well, but just make sure it doesn't go on this part of the sensor. Got a light coating on there. So back up to the car, now we're going to put the sensor into the extension. And then we're going to start tightening it up.
now get your, your tool and then we're going to start tightening that up. We're just going to put a spanner on the end of the extension just to keep it in place as we tighten up the O2 sensor. Once you're happy with how tight you've done that, then you can take that off. And then we've just got to reconnect the connector. So line that up, and then push it in, it should clip in. That's it, that's nice and in. And then that's all done. Now if you've got an engine light on, you just need to clear the code and then you're done. So we're going to give the car a quick scan. So it's just done its scan. There's one fault for the engine, so we're going to go into that. read codes so here you can see it says p0420 which is the one that we said we had which is catalyst system efficiency below threshold for bank one so we're going to erase that now now it's cleared and now we shouldn't have that code come back up see system pass no fault um but it was coming on once you did about 80 miles or so. So we're going to drive it around for a bit and hopefully nothing should come back up. And that's it. You're done. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you want more.